Big Booty Judy approved. And I'm doing the squat test. Not, you know, nothing is showing. It's not see-through, like. with another video. Today I have a Forever 21 haul. Um, it's kind of been like two or three weeks in the making because I've like purchased a few things online here and there. I returned some things, I've kept some things, and basically I want to just show you guys what I decided to keep. This is one of the items I decided to keep. How cute! Uh, <laughs> Um, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you see here. And I guess I'll just kind of get into the video. Okay, so full disclosure, I just came back from eating a very large portion of sushi. I had happy hour um, with my friend Latoya and uh, definitely don't know if I should be doing a clothing haul because I'm definitely not snatched right now. But. I'm doing it anyway, okay? If anything, you can see what it looks like when people are bloated, okay? And then also I decided that I actually want to just list in the uh, description box from, you know, first to last of what I tried on instead of like telling you exactly like what dress this is. Just like, no, if this is the first dress, it's just the link to it's gonna show up as the first item, so. That's probably the easiest way in case you do want to shop along and you see something that you like here that you would actually like to purchase. So let's get into it. This um, this dress, uh, I actually liked it a little bit more when I first tried it on. I'm not so sure now to be honest with you. It's doing something, now that I'm a little bit bloated, it's doing something weird. But what I do like about it is this kind of cutout. I think it's like super sexy. And the back is also like out and that's really sexy. Um, I love the color. I think it would look a lot better if I like ironed it, but this is kind of just how it looked straight out the box. Um, I think it like fits my uh, arms like perfectly. I like the length of it. But what I don't necessarily like is, again, what it's doing here. Like, I do have a little, you know, booty. And I don't know how I feel about this kind of scrunchy thing here. And I also don't like the way that it's kind of gathering about around my midsection. I don't think I have that much stomach. I have a little something now. But, um, you know, I just do wish that this kind of lied a little bit flatter. But I love the collar. I think I could really dress this up with some nice jewelry, um, a little heel. This could be casual as well. I could see myself like wearing this to brunch or um, I don't know, definitely a lot in the spring. Maybe summer if it's a little bit cooler because this is long sleeve, but um, I'm feeling this. I just don't know now if I want to keep it or not. Whereas before I was like pretty sure that I wanted to keep it. So I'm gonna think a little bit about this, but you guys let me know in the comments what you think. Should I keep it? Should I take it back? Let me know what y'all guys are thinking. Okay, so next we actually have both a skirt and a top. So the skirt is like midi length. I don't know. I need a bigger house. Okay, I need a bigger house so I can show you this skirt. <laughs> um, but the skirt is midi length. It's like a mustard color. It has a small slit in the back. Um, it's really stretchy and it's thick too. Like it's thick. Like I feel like, you know, it's hiding underwear. Um, it's, again, I'm pretty bloated right now because I just ate a lot of sushi, but I feel like it's not so tight here. Like, if you did have a little bit of, you know, what is that? Is it called a fupa? I think it's called a fupa. If you had a little bit of a fupa um, or a little bit of a stomach, a little bit, you know, 
I feel like you can still kind of get away with it not being so tight around here. I really like that. Um, I love that it's high waisted. I just feel like also, I live in Texas. I live in um, the Austin, Texas area. Um, and I just think that this is something I can wear year round here. Like even though it's thick, I can still get away with it in the summertime. Um, I can get away with it during our winter and fall because our winter and falls are super mild here. Um, except last winter and fall where we literally had an, a snow apocalypse or they called it snow bit, whatever. <laughs> but um, I just feel like this is something I can wear year round. And if I lose a little bit of weight, uh, like if I lose a little bit of weight, this is still gonna look cute. If I gain a little bit of weight, I think I can still pull this off. And um, it does look pretty cute on the booty, not gonna lie. So I'm into it. The top, I really like what they were doing with this. Like, I feel like it's kind of like giving um, Herb Leger vibes. But at the same time, it's like very much giving gauze, like hospital gauze, like bandage. But I mean, I guess that's also the look. I think it is that this kind of thing is called like bandage, but I think in white, it's giving, like I literally just took some gauze and wrap this around my body in a cute way. I actually did purchase this in like a mauve color, which I'm also going to show you guys, but uh, let me know in the comments if you think I should keep this or not, because I am very um, small busted and I don't think this is doing me any favors because it's like, look from the side. I have like nothing there. But at the same time, as weird as this shirt is around my bust, it's not really doing me any favors. I feel like it's totally showing off my arms. Like, I think I've mentioned in previous videos that I'm kind of insecure about my arms. I have very broad shoulders and I just naturally have very muscular arms. And sometimes I'm insecure about it, but I feel like for some reason, this top's kind of like putting my arms on the display in a way that I really appreciate. And I'm not gonna lie, I really do like how it looks in the back. I feel like it looks way more expensive than it actually was. Like, I think after like promo codes and everything, I may have paid like $13 for this. And I feel like if I had bought this and it was like some designer brand, this could easily be like $900. Um, and even if I had bought it at Zara or something, it could easily be like a good $40. So, still debating on whether I want to keep this and really how often I would wear this. But um, let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Okay, so here it is in that kind of mauve color. I feel like on camera it's kind of coming across as brown, but it really is more of like a pink brown. Does this look more or less bandage-like in this color? I feel like the color is it's not giving as much of like medical grade, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I really like how this top is accentuating my arms. Like I look like look like super buff here. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but um, I definitely like the color against my skin tone. It's giving like nude, you know? Um, I actually don't think it looks that weird with this skirt, especially if I get my stomach back on flat, flat, like, you know, after this food digest. Um, but I don't, I wouldn't be mad at seeing these two colors together. I wouldn't necessarily think to put them together, but I think it could work, especially like in the fall, with that cute strappy heel, I could see it. Um, and again, I mean, it's the same shirt, so it has the same kind of crisscross back. And I think that's pretty sexy. I could see myself wearing this with like a jean too, like a, a high-waisted jean. I really like it. I think if I do keep them, if I, like if I am gonna keep this shirt, I probably will at least keep this one. Not so sure about the white, but I mean, it was so cheap. It literally was like $13 or $14, something like that. So even if I wore it once, like on vacation, it would totally be worth it. Like it would absolutely be worth it. This though, I think I could wear this a lot. 
Again, it's still very much giving teenage boy in the bust area. Not so into that, but hey, natural bodies matter. Little titties matter. Remember that. Little booties matter. I don't really think I have a little booty, but little booties matter, little titties matter, um, chubby tummies matter, flat tummies matter, big boobs matter, big asses matter, flabby arms matter, you know, muscular arms matter, everything matters, okay? You know, rock it. But again, I'm gonna need y'all help. Let me know what I should keep. I'm still on the fence about this, but I think I'm, I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, so actually now we're gonna get in to this, I think that this is, no, I purchased some athleisure kind of stuff as well, but this is actually like workout stuff. And you guys, I'm pretty impressed with these leggings. They're high-waisted, they're like not doing something weird with my stomach here. They're definitely Big Booty Judy approved, okay? Big Booty Judy approved. And I'm doing the squat test. Not, you know, nothing is showing. It's not see-through. Like, um, I'm into them. I'm definitely gonna be keeping these. And if I told you how much I paid for these, take take a guess. I'll wait. Okay, how much you think I paid for these? Thirty dollars? Forty dollars? Twenty dollars? What if I told you I bought these for less than $10? Why did I do all that clapping? I don't know. But I purchased these for less than $10. Like Forever 21 overdoes it with the coupons. I'm pretty sure I paid like $8.93 or something along those lines. And for this kind of like sports bra top, it's really more like a wife beater to be honest with you. Um, like a sporty wife beater. But I think I paid less than $5 for this. I think it was like $4.93. Something like that. Like, so if you're on a budget, Forever 21 really kind of kills it. They're still killing it. Like they're way more affordable than a lot of these kind of other fast fashion brands. And you can actually try things on in store if you want like, you know, Fashion Nova, I like Fashion Nova, but Fashion Nova, sometimes their prices be wild, okay? And I know some of this stuff is exactly like Rainbow, so why is it $10 at Rainbow and Fashion Nova charging $40, $50 for it? I know y'all about to give us a promo code, but even 30% off, you know? So I'm really pleased with these. I'm totally gonna keep these. I actually did purchase them in other colors, but I'm not, I actually took them back because I just feel like nothing, I'm just a, I just like black. I really just like black. And it didn't matter to me how cheap they were because I have enough gym clothes that it doesn't make a difference. I only want what I really feel like I'm gonna wear. In this top, you guys, I probably will not be wearing this to the gym because it does not offer like any support and I'm a little titty committee girl, okay? It's really just a glorified wife beater, but it's just super cute. Like I could totally see myself when I'm doing yoga or anything along those lines, like just wearing this and being super comfortable and free or like I'm going uh, to go pick up and run um, and like run some errands. Or if I wanted to, I could still probably sneak a sports bra up under this, but it would just kind of really take away from how cute this is. But I really like this. So if anything, I think you guys should really snatch the leggings because for under $10, that is a steal. And they also have like this kind of ribbed pattern going across the side and like the front of the leg. I just like how it's not cheapy. It's not cheapy and it's not see-through. So I give this about a nine and a half out of 10. And the top, even though it's not really a sports bra, for $5, you can't beat that with a baseball bat. I would still buy this in another color. And we're back with another one, okay? Um, these actually are different leggings. They're more just like a casual legging. 
um, not athletic, just like your typical leggings that you would like wear, like a cotton legging that you would wear with like a t-shirt or anything like that. I think I paid under $5 for these as well. Um, they're not actually, they're kind of more of like a three quarter length. They kind of reach your ankles, which I really wanted because I like the capri kind of look sometimes. Uh, you know, when it's not like so long, it kind of draws attention to your feet. So like if you have on some really nice kicks or some really nice sandals that you want to show off, it'll really kind of draw attention to that. So, and they're just super comfortable. Not, you know, sometimes you just don't want a, a full length legging. I really like these. They're, are they see-through? I don't think they're see-through, you guys. I don't think that they're see-through, wow. Okay, so you guys had to grab these leggings too because for under $5 and they're not see-through, and I'm a little thick, I think I'm thick. I'm not th 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 thick, I'm not th 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 thick, but I'm thick, I'm one thick, um, and I like them. So definitely go grab those. This top though, you guys, I'm loving this top. Like, you guys know I'm a real estate agent. I love anything that can be sexy, but still professional. So, you know, I don't like to be putting it all out there, okay? Unless I'm, there's a time and a place for everything. So if I'm going to the club, if I'm going um, out to church, I'm dressing differently. This to me though, it's a little bit low. So I'm not entirely sure if I would wear this to work, but I could totally see this like if I'm going out to a classy dinner, um, wearing this with nice pants. I, it's just like, it's very much giving like um, Missoni or, that brand Masoni that does all the zigzaggy knit prints, but I paid six dollars, six dollars for this. Does this look like it was six dollars? Look at the detail. Look at the detail. Y'all can't tell me this looks like it was six dollars. This looked like it was at least forty dollars. It looked like it was at least twenty dollars. Maybe not forty dollars, but. It looked like it was at least $20, okay? I think it was on sale, actually. And then again, Forever 21 kills you with the promo codes. I really love this. I'm gonna be wearing this a lot. Um, it is cropped, though. Part of me does wish it was longer because I feel like if it was longer, I would really be, like, messing this up. Like, I'd be wearing this with with skirts, I'd be wearing this with jeans, I'd be wearing this with everything. But since it's cropped, I am kind of limited to wearing it with like high-waisted stuff because I don't really see myself wearing it showing my stomach just because of how like classy it looks already. I don't really wanna cheapen it. But I like this, you guys. You gotta, you gotta snatch this. And I think they had it in another color blue. If they still have it, I might, I might cut that blue. I might cut that powder blue that I think they had. Okay. Okay, see now, this is what the doctor prescribed. This is cute. Oh no, it's making my booty look a little flat. That's okay. This is really cute. This dress, like, first of all, when you have broad shoulders, a square neckline is your friend because your shoulders are already giving square. So you give square here, it's kind of just like, it's cute. I really like this dress. You guys, I paid under $10 for this dress. I paid under $10 for this dress. Let that sink in. I know, right? Like, I cannot believe I paid $10, under $10 for this. Like, this is thick. I think it was on sale, but it's thick. It's not see-through. It has like a really cute triangular back detail. Um, it's square neckline. I literally need a black dress like I need a hole in the head, especially like a little black dress. But you guys, 
again, when something is this inexpensive but looks this good, you could totally justify it even if you wore it once. Like, I plan on kind of giving this like an old school Versace vibe. I'm just gonna just wear a shit ton of jewelry, like gold charm necklace, gold charm bracelets, medallions, door knocker, earrings, everything, chokers, everything. Cause I just want to look like I'm dripping and I want to make this dress look way more expensive than it was. So um, that's how I plan on doing it. I might wear, I love gold and black together. Um, that's just the type of person I am. Like I'm not, like for instance, I'm the type of person if I buy a purse and it's black, I'm gonna choose the gold hardware over the silver hardware. I just feel like silver and black kind of looks a little bit, a little bit harsh, whereas like gold and black kind of just looks very warm and intentional to me. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm telling y'all, Forever 21, if you have the patience to shop on Forever 21, because they do have a lot of stuff, I don't think it's as bad as Fashion Nova now. Because Fashion Nova, you'll be on there for days. But Forever 21, you do have to have a little bit of patience, but you can find a lot of great deals on Forever 21. And and with their promo codes, if you're like patient with your shopping and you wait until you see a code come up, it's like you hit the lottery. Like, I'm really impressed with this. And I love the thick straps. I don't have any dresses like this. Like, not even one. Like, yes, it's a little black dress and I have those, but I do not have anything of this nature, like a square neck, thick strap, you know, mini dress that's also giving body and back cleavage. Okay? I'm into this. I'm so into this. Okay, guys, I promise we're almost done. We're almost done. Just give me a little bit more time, okay? Um, we're down to like the little, like, last few items okay so this I actually purchased in more than one color it's very much like you know athleisure loungewear it's the pants are joggers Ooh, almost fell the pants are joggers they're high-waisted again I am bloated so it's not looking super cute right now but they're very comfortable um, very stretchy like you can drop it like it's hot okay um you know you don't you can drop it like it's hot not like it's lukewarm okay like they're very comfortable very stretchy um and i like them but me i'm actually gonna wear this just around my house like even though it's like a thick material that obviously you're supposed to wear outside i'm just gonna i'm just gonna treat this like it's skims okay because the prices for Skims are just like astronomical. Like I bet if Skims had something like this, they'd be selling it for over a hundred dollars. To be honest, they might maybe more than that. They might charge like sixty dollars for the pants and like fifty dollars for the top. So, um, but these are just so comfortable. Like literally, if somebody comes to visit you, I'm sure I could also um, get away with using them for pajamas because they're just so comfortable. And if I ever did want to wear these out, I could do that. I'm just not going to, but I could. So this is like a nude brown color. It's very natural. Um, again, just super stretchy. Super stretchy. Super comfortable. Very cozy. And I really, really like it. And I think I paid about $17 for this in total after the promo codes and deductions. So really pleased with it. And... Um, yeah, I'm gonna show it to you guys in the other color that I purchased. The other purchase I, um, the other color that I purchased it in is like a mint chocolate chip kind of green. So let me show you guys that. Okay, so here it is in that mint green. I really like this. I don't have like anything in my closet this color aside from the first dress that I showed you if I decide to keep that. But, um,. I think I really like this color. I'm not sure which color I like the most, so let me know in the comments what you guys think. But I really like this. And again, 
I'm just planning on wearing this around the house. If anything, to like grab my mail. That's basically it. So it's doing the job. It's very much just giving cozy. I like it. I really like it. But you guys, one more thing to show you, okay? I hope that you guys, I have not lost you guys, okay? Like, pay attention! I'm doing a haul, okay? Hold, just, just keep your focus for a little bit longer. Okay, guys, I saved the best for last. Like, tell me this baby doll dress is not the absolute cutest. I, this is normally not my style at all. Um, because I have a curvy body type, I usually wear things that are super body conscious, super form fitting to show off like what I think my best attributes are, which is my butt. Let's be honest, I think my butt is my best attribute. <laughs> um, and this though, I just feel so girly and so feminine. I love how it just flows. Like, tell me this is not perfect for your vacation. Tell me this isn't even just perfect with, like you can dress this up with like some cute flats or you can totally just wear this with some like Adidas um, you know, some Stan Smiths, some Converse, like, some Keds, like, you could just, this is just so cute. And it's kind of like this, I actually don't really know what this material is. Is it linen? It's not linen. It doesn't feel like linen, but it looks like linen. Um, and then I love this detail here. I love the square neckline again. I just like this. And the thing about this, I feel like this dress is supposed to kind of look loose and flowy. So even if I lost a little bit of weight, this would still be pretty cute. And even though I don't have a very large bust, I'm still really enjoying this. And actually, I don't even know if I would like it as much if I had a larger bust. I think it's just really doing what it's supposed to do. What do you guys think about this? It's even square neck in the back. But anyway, that's the last dress. So thank you so much if you've watched this far because you know, this is a little bit long. Right? I understand if I may have lost you now. Thank you again for watching till the end. Um, I really had a lot of fun doing this haul. I just I think that Forever 21 is still like an oldie but goodie. You have a lot of like fast fashion brands out here. You have like, um, you know, Misguided, you have Boohoo, you have Fashion Nova. Like, to be honest, there are so many, I can't even keep count. But like Forever 21 has just been around and it's just been consistently affordable. Like, you know what you're getting with it. Like, you can still go to the store and try it on if that's important to you but they still give you obviously the option to um, you know, buy it online and then take it back to the store. Um, some of y'all, if y'all are real OGs, y'all remember when Forever 21 only gave you store credits, they didn't refund you your money, okay? So you had to be very careful with what you purchased at Forever 21. But um, I wanna say maybe like two years ago, they decided to start actually refunding money, like your cash. And that's been a game changer because literally I probably took back half of the stuff that I bought. It just didn't do anything for me. What you're seeing is the stuff that I decided to keep. So I bought like probably at least a good 25 items and I probably only kept about 10 or 12, something like that. I'm not sure. But anyway, let me wrap this video up because it's already super long winded. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please leave in the comments what you thought about the outfits that I tried on and anything else that you would like to see from me. I would totally appreciate it. This is a super small channel. I'm just kind of getting started. I have interests that just like are all over the place. So um, I really would appreciate any feedback that you have or anything 
um, that you would recommend. Uh, with that said though, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram on my personal IG, Poste, which is my same namesake. Or if you're interested in real estate and seeing that side of me, because that is what I do for a living, um, my real estate Instagram is Taylor Moore underscore homes. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys there too. Have a great night or have a great day wherever you are. And I'll see you guys next time.